Welcome back to A Profile in Madness, your guide to the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. So as you can tell, I have had a good tournament, even though I didn't pick my Wolfpack Speed 16. I ended up getting a double trade in the women's and the men's tournament, so I thought I'd throw on a throwback 2012 before they started their um, two-time. 2012 has 15 is the last time the men's basketball team has been 16. The women have just been killing it and are still killing it, and I'm loving it. <sighs> so, for those of you who have busted brackets, the good news is there are second chance brackets. For those of you who have been absolutely killing it in the first round, but you, the ones you, the ones that lost hurt. There are second chance brackets. And for those of you like me who played the long game, who have a clean Elite Eight, a clean Final Four, and a clean champion, let's just keep this party going. <laughs> My record for NCAA men's basketball to the 24 tournament is now 32 and 16. As I said, I've got a clean sheet going forward. So today we're going to play a little bit of a hedge game, and we're also going to pl pl place a parlay for the Elite Eight. <sighs> Let's just jump into what I think is going to happen. <sighs> As some of you remember that I have all one and two season lead eight, which was a feat that is almost as good, as strong as getting a perfect bracket. So this is where I'm going to go ahead and pick a few holes in my story. So I'm looking first at Clemson. I'm picking Clemson for the upset over Arizona. <sighs> there, there's not much. Arizona, David, yeah, they won games big, but from the very beginning, when I did my first bracket, I had Clemson making a run, and I expected a team that showed up earlier in the season that were just pests. That's what Clemson's are. They were just pests. So I'm taking Clemson over Arizona. Um, UConn, I'm still rolling. They got the remask in San Diego State, so I'm just rolling with that. Um, and then number three, I'm looking at Bama. Um, Bama and UNC. Bama has not impressed me much. UNC, they just keep surviving. So I'm, I'm going to stick with UNC on that time. I never want to see UNC. Um, I'm taking Iowa State over Illinois. <sighs> Next up is my Wolfpack. I have loved Marquette all season. I have loved, loved, loved Marquette. But NC State just looks hot. I'm going to keep the hot hand. I'm taking NC State to beat Marquette. <sighs> Purdue and Zaga. I didn't have much faith with Zaga going to the tournament. They're just always there. And about the Sweet 16 is when they kind of drop the ball. So I think Purdue is going to beat Gonzaga. And the next one, Houston and Duke. <sighs> this will probably bite me. I, I just want to say it so bad. I want to say it so bad. They got past JMU. They destroyed JMU. They survived the first round. They're still hanging out. I'm not doing it this year. Last year I caved and I had Duke winning it all. That's not going to happen this year to playing Houston Cougars. Uh, my finals runner up in my original bracket. <sighs> I'm taking Houston. I think Houston's going to take out Duke. They might have problems in the lead eight or final four. Last but not least, Tennessee. I had a beautiful parlay. Beautiful. Like 200 bucks in my hand. Tennessee couldn't cover. I think it's a problem. I do. I think it's a big problem. Tennessee and Bama are the last Mohicans, and Tennessee is going down. Bama is going down. SEC is out this round. So I'm taking Creighton in that one. Since you won't see me again until after the weekend, let's talk about the Final Four, at least my Final Four. I'm taking UConn over Iowa State, UNC over Clemson, Houston over NC State, and Purdue over Creighton. <laughs> I took those bets and created a Kings pick six, six leg parlay, if you want to tell me. So first up, I'm taking Clemson plus 10.5, just so if somehow Arizona does win, I saw my spread. I don't think they'll beat them by 11. I got that for a minus 198. Um, UConn and San Diego State, I think UConn's going to roll. Last year, they won all their games by double digits up until the, all the way through the championship. I think they're going to do it again. I took a UConn minus 10.5, got that for a minus 115. 
Bama UNC, they're giving me a minus 4.5 for UNC, and I took it. Got that for a minus 106. Illinois and Iowa State, Iowa State, money line, not playing games. I'm not playing games. I think the spread was like a minus 1.5. I'm just taking the money line. Take a little bit of a hit. Minus 132. <sighs> Purdue and Gonzaga. I took Purdue at a minus 5.5. Not too scary. Purdue is notorious for not covering spreads, but I think six points is enough for this. I got that for a minus 110. And last but not least, I'm taking Houston money line over Duke, and you better believe it. I'm going to be on all my socials yelling, down goes Duke. My boys did it, and I think Houston can do it. <sighs> Let's put up the graphic. Clemson plus 10.5. UConn minus 10.5. UNC minus 4.5. Iowa State money line. Purdue minus 5.5. Houston money line. Put it all together, threw down 10 bucks. I would win $281.08 odds plus odds. Two, seven, one, zero. Ah, the madness is here. So close to hitting perfect on my bracket of brackets. We got it here. We got it here. These are my picks. These may not be your picks, but they are mine. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Go Wolfpack. King out.